A Lego fish trap. Oh, there it goes. Oh, did I? What's up, Raw fam? So as you guys can see, I'm sitting here with my Lego fish trap. Believe it or not, this fish trap right here has 5 million views on that video. And today, we're going to be taking this fish trap and turning it into a DIY Lego mini pond for real aquarium fish. So the first step to taking this little fish trap and turning it into a little aquarium, we have to take it from a fish trap and turn it into a little mini aquarium, aka a little pond. Let's take off the bolts, the nicks, the crannies. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Let's see if we could actually just peel this back. Oh, there it goes. Oh, did it stay together? Bro, it did. That is literally an aquarium right here. This is like the little sides, and there's already flex seal. As you guys know, I took this little fish trap and I flex sealed it 100% together. We're still gonna put a little mini pond liner. Perfect, so what we did this time is just drill down our little nails or whatever, and now we have a double liner that is actually touching all the way on the bottom. All right, Raw fam, so this is our Lego fish trap that we actually converted into a beautiful Lego pond, guys. This is so freaking cool. Guys, I am so excited to go off, wait, and, and do this. Hold up, come here, guys. I'm just so excited. I'm gonna grab this little net right here. All we're gonna do is take a little bit of this little food right here. We're gonna take it, put it in the water. Come here, come here, we're baiting the water right here. We're baiting it up. What's gonna come up and eat? What's gonna come up and eat? Beautiful, beautiful little Molly. Oh, did I get him? Oh, I got one, look. That is a fancy tail guppy and a couple babies, look. And we could just like kinda put them in there. You see that beautiful little fancy tail right there? We could just put that little guy inside of his little aquarium. We could put this little beautiful little Molly. I know you guys can't see him, that's just a baby Molly that I'm actually growing at my house. Look at him, there he goes. Oh my God, look how cool that is, guys. This is a beautiful working aquarium, and if you guys look inside, we got a couple beautiful little fish. Now, these guys already have a home, of course, so I'm just gonna take these guys, two, one. Have a good life, guys. Deuces raw, fam. So of course we don't have our gravel in here, so we wanna put more water in here. Ah. So of course, let's knock off the sides around our beautiful little aquarium, and let's make it look like a DIY Lego fish aquarium right now. Wow, look how perfect that is. You know what's actually funny? You could see the flex seal from whenever we flex sealed it. Let's just keep turning it. It'd be about as waterproof as possible. Look at this. Okay guys, so I'm officially so proud of myself. I'm proud of my team, and of course I'm proud of the Raw fam for making this possible. Look at this guys, this is a Lego mini pond. So of course guys, we have our Lego pond. If you guys look, we have a liner right here, and there is our beautiful water. And of course, let's get out of here and go buy some fish, some gravel, and some aeration for our beautiful little mini pond. I love you all fam, and I'll see you guys over at Pet Supermarket. Peace! As you guys can see, we have this beautiful, like a black color. I mean, I don't really like that. Um, we have this like blue. We have this like pretty colored. It's like a, almost like a gumball looking color. We have a pink, a pink, and a natural color torch right here. So let me see. Does that look good? Honestly, I think, I think, I, I definitely think this one goes with, you know, the whole theme of like a Lego color. I mean, I think these are perfect. Definitely perfect. So of course, this is the beautiful little gravel we're going to get. Oh my gosh, guys. So, of course, as you guys can see, we have a massive fish selection here. Guys, what do you guys think we should put inside of our beautiful little Lego pond? Remember, Raw Fam, if you guys see something that you guys think I should put in here, comment down below. I need your guys' help on what I should actually put inside of this little Lego pond. Oh, what is that? Look at this. Come here, come here. Come, come, come. Look. Oh my gosh. That is pretty cool. Um, look at these. Bro, those are like little tetras and, and cool little like Lego fish. Oh my God, those are so beautiful. Look at these guys too. I mean, that is just like the prettiest like night. I, I, I don't even know what to say is that. I mean, that's the coolest freaking thing. Have you ever seen a fish that glows? Look at that. It's like a little, 
It's, 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 it's literally a glowfish. So as you guys can see, I think the glowfish are definitely on my radar. If we come this way, you know, I always got to look at the koi selection. Anything cool right here? I mean, they're pretty average. I mean, nothing that's like too crazy. I mean, I don't really see anything that's like that awesome, but that is so cool. Look at that. That blue one right there, that blue tail. Oh my God, bro, we are definitely getting fancy tails. I mean, that is just a no-brainer, guys. Raw fam, this is so cool. And no, obviously, we have to get the fish that is the most vibrant, the most cool, colorful, crazy little pattern as our beautiful little Lego. So let me see. Does, does that look like it would go in here? Come here, Raw fam. Does, does that little thing right there or any of these fish look like it belongs in here? Oh my God, that one's so beautiful. Hi, Bubba. Hi. I mean, you know, honestly guys, I think the only fish that I could actually put in here is of course these beautiful little fishies. So before we go off and get one of these fish, let's go off and see if they have any air tration for our beautiful little pond. Because if they don't have any air tration, is that the right word? I don't, I don't think so. Because if they don't have any aeration inside the pond, they will all basically <laughs> die. I think they have any little mini pumps like this. Look at this. That is so perfect for this little pond. So we have like a little aerator right there. This is for a 10 gallon. So this is double, if not triple, if not quadruple. I think this little pump right here is actually rated for 10 times the amount of water. I, I don't even think this is a gallon. You know, I'm not really too sure. It might be maybe one gallon. So we'll, we'll go with it. This is a one gallon aquarium. This is rated for 10 gallons of aeration. So do I, do I say it wrong every time? So it looks like we have everything ready to go. We have our aerator, we have our aquarium, we have our gravel. So the last thing we need is of course, our beautiful little fishy. So of course, let's get over there and go buy some epic fish. Come here guys, so I think what we're gonna do is get, there's a blue one in here somewhere. Um, even like a couple of, like that one right there. See that, see the yellow one? Oh, it, yeah, that one, he definitely caught me. Oh, oh, and, that, and that other yellow one. That other yellow one just reminds me of like a Lego so much. Yeah, 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 there we go. Oh, yeah, he took him for a run for his money, he's gone. There he is, oh, no, that's not him, is it? Look at this, guys. These fishies right here are so freaking sick. Look at them, guys, they're so freaking cool. I'm gonna buy a couple more fish that I don't want you guys to see until we set up the aquarium. So right now, I'm gonna pick out, yeah, yeah, don't worry, yeah, you got him. Of course, Rolf, and when we're done setting up the tank, you guys will see what our special fish is. Alright guys, we just got back to the Brawl Fam household and before we actually put our beautiful little fishies inside of our little aquarium, the liner inside of here is still kind of pressed down, but we have to add our beautiful little gravel. I just rinsed it off so there won't be nasty little, little mist and stuff. There you go. Look at that. There we go. I don't want to add too much gravel. We just want to add the perfect amount. Push it over there. Push it over here. I think that is the perfect amount of gravel for this little aquarium. Let's take a little bit of like a handful out and spread it around that bottom. Perfect, nice and flush. I mean guys, we're off him. That is so sick, Rolf M, guys. This is so cool. So you see Legos, and when you guys look on the outside of it, you still see Legos because, of course, this is a Lego epic freaking awesome little pond. As you guys can see, this is our Lego fish trap that we converted into a Lego themed pond. And of course, now I think it is time to add some water and of course, look at all of the epic crazy fish we bought for our beautiful little Lego aquarium. Rolf M, let's go over here and of course, add some water. Come on. This water is already fish friendly. You see those beautiful fishies right here? Swimming around, having an amazing day. Beautiful, clear, fish friendly water all up in there. Perfect, we're just gonna put that right here. Our fishies are just gonna go right inside of there. Oh, oh my God, hold it right there, bro. This is literally the most epic pond I've ever seen. If you guys look right here, I mean, this is all of our beautiful little Legos. And then that is our little Lego themed gravel right there. I mean, guys, how sick is that? So of course, as you guys can see, these are a couple of the beautiful little fish we actually got at our pet store. Come here, guys. Let me show you guys these beautiful little fishies. So pop that little rubber band off wherever the heck that thing went. All right, guys, so I think they're done acclimating already. As you guys can see, we're just going to take our beautiful little fishies and empty them into this little net. We don't want to mix our water. Bam, 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 there you go. Any fish left in this little bag? No, I don't think so. They're all right there. Look at those beautiful little fishies. That's two of them. 
Hi guys. Welcome to the pond. What's up, buddy? Guys, those things are so freaking cute. I mean, those things are so freaking cute. Hi, Bubba. How you doing? Those guys are so beautiful. I think I want to add another one that's actually from inside of this pond. So come here, guys. Come look. Let's see. Any fancy tails? That's the real question. I got a couple baby mollies. You see those little guys? So ready? I'm going to put those little guys inside of there away from all the big fish so they could grow up and live their beautiful epic life. All right guys, so I said I was gonna get a couple extra fish. They also put my blue one in here. So, ah, the moment we've all been waiting for, we're gonna just take and unbox our beautiful extra fish. We're gonna take these beautiful little babies and empty them into this little bag. Ready? See them? There's one and there's two. We got a beautiful blue and we got that beautiful little orange guy. You ready? Hi guys, you ready? Welcome to your pond. See that orange guy? Look how epic that guy is. Have a good one, Bubba. Look, look, there he goes. There he goes. Guys, how sick is that, guys? So that is our beautiful little Lego aquarium, guys. I'm going to show you guys these up close and personal. I mean, this literally reminds me of a Lego. So if you guys look right here, we got Legos. If you guys look in there, we got Lego gravel. And if you guys look right there, we have Lego fish. All different blues and oranges and yellows and reds and cool epic colors. So we have to find a home, a place for these beautiful little guys to live. Should we put them out by the big pond? Over by where the little turtles are living? Or should we put them over here? Like right next to all the koi or maybe by the, the crawfish army. Guys, comment down below. Where do you guys think I should put our little Lego army? I think what we're going to do is put these guys next to Jaws. So come on. Jaws, we're coming, buddy. Here you go. You want him? No? Uh, I think the red tail wants him. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I think these guys are a little hungry, but... I think it's okay. I think if we just go all the way that way, we'll be okay. See this, bro? I think if we put this little aquarium right there, this beautiful little Lego aquarium should just sit right here. I think it'll be good. All right, Raw Fam, so I need you guys in the comment section below or in a poll right there. Do you guys think we took a W as in a win or we took an L as in a loss right here with this beautiful, epic little Lego aquarium? As you guys can see, these are our beautiful little guppies. And now it is officially time to put in our aeration. Ready? We're just gonna put this little thing in and this is gonna actually provide them with oxygen. Look at that. Oh yeah. So our beautiful little guppies, look right here. Our little guppies are so excited because now they have air. Guys, Raw Fam, that is so freaking cool, Raw Fam. And I love you guys so much. And if you guys enjoyed today's awesome, crazy adventure, we actually converted one of my old videos into an epic, beautiful, we actually had a trap and we turned the trap into an epic, awesome aquarium. All right, Raw Fam, so that is gonna be the end of today's awesome, crazy adventure. If you guys enjoyed today's video, remember there's a poll if we took a W or an L. Remember, Raw Fam, Jaws is crazy. This freaking trap is so epic. And of course, it's an aquarium now. I love you. You're all very much. See you later, Ben.